I'm going to first apply my base color and I'm using the NYX Trumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm applying that all over my lid area. And now I'm going to apply my highlight color and I'm using the shade Dope from the Urban Decay Vibes 2 palette. And now I'm going to apply my transition color and this is the shade Naked from the Naked One palette. And I'm applying that slightly above my crease area. And now I'm going to go in with a slightly darker shade. Actually, no, I'm sorry. So I'm going to go in with a purple shade. And this is the, um, this is the MAC eyeshadow in Vibrant Rage. And this is going to be my transition color. And now for my crease color, I'm using the shade Smoke Out from the Vice 2 palette. And I'm applying that into my crease area and I'm working it into the outer corner and I'm applying that in a V shape and I'm going to sweep it out to have that sort of cat eye effect. And I'm mainly going to concentrate that color in the crease and the outer V portion of my eye. And here I'm slightly flicking it out to get that wing the cat eye effect. And now I'm going to go back in with a bit more of that vibrant grape color from MAC. So it has that gorgeous gradient effect where it goes from the vibrant break into that naked shade that I applied before. And now I'm applying a bit more of the smoked out eyeshadow in that um, outer V. And now to go in with that um, eyeshadow from the Vice 2 palette and it's called Coax. And I'm simply pressing that into my mobile lid area, concentrating that color on that portion, and really packing it in there to have that awesome color payoff. And I'm simply going to blend out the edges so there aren't any harsh eyes. And I'm using that brush that I applied previously. I haven't applied any more eyeshadow to that. I'm just simply using whatever's left on there and blending it out. And now I'm going back in with my highlight color and I'm just blending out any harsh lines that may be there. And I'll put a bit more of that Coke's eyeshadow on my inner lower corner of my eye. And now I'm applying a little bit of that naked color on the bottom of my lash line and I'm going with Max Feline Eyeliner to line my waterline and I'm also going to tight line my eye with that. And now I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm going to apply a bit of that smoked out eyeshadow on my lower lash line and blend it out. And now I'm using the L'Oreal Liquid Liner. Inflammable, inflammable. I can never say that word right. It's one of my favorite liquid eyeliners. It's so precise. But this one's drying up a bit, so you just work in with it, yeah. And now to apply my lashes, and these are just some local beauty supply store lashes that I've stacked up. And to add some mascara to my lower lash line, and also to my lashes to blend it in. Now to apply some highlight, well some concealer to serve as my highlight and this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42.
and I'm going to set that with the Ben 9 Banana Powder. Apply a bit to my chin, lower down my bridge nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow. And I'm using a beauty blender to apply that. And I'm dusting off any extra powder with a fluffy pointed brush. And now to contour my face with Max Blush and Blunt. This is one of my favorite powders to contour my face with. Now my jawline, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my temple, my chin area. And now for some highlight. I'm using the Max, the Max, I'm using Max Golden Bronze Loops Pigment as my highlight. I love this stuff. I don't use it frequently, but I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorites. And I'm going to apply a bit of that down the bridge of my nose and onto my chin and my cheek as well. And now for my blush. So I'm using the Max Blush in Pinch Me. And my lipstick, I'm using the um, Max Lipstick in Nikki once, the first one. And I'm lining my lips with a sort of plumish eyeliner. This isn't a lip liner, it's an eyeliner. And it's just from my beauty supply store doesn't have a name per se and I'm going over that <clears throat> with the Makeup Forever lipstick in um, number 15 it's the artist the Rouge Artist I'm just applying a tiny bit of that over and this is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you want to see my previous video there is a link to that in the description box and also you can click on this video at the ending of this one right here and I will see you guys in my next tutorial thanks for watching